Hello boys and girls, welcome to episode 17 of Let's Play Evo Search for Eden. Today we're going to be reading more of Agony in Pink because this game is a chore. <clears throat> When she looked up, she saw that Tortura was standing right in front of her. Eh, uh, it's kind of scrolling slowly. I'll give it a minute. Give it a minute. We'll talk about, um, Evo. As you can see here, we're a fantastic purple dragon thing. Um, the most well-known of the dinosaurs, or the Ikustegger, or whatever the hell I am. Um... And, uh, I, I, you know, you know, guys, um, I'm a fucking dinosaur thing, um, get in on this shit, it's amazing. You guys like dinosaurs, right? Well, you're in for a fucking treat with this LP, let me tell you. Yeah, this writing is scrolling way too slow. He put out his hands and cupped Kimberly's firm breasts and began to fondle them. He tweaked her nipples with his thumbs as he squeezed her breasts. That is really bad writing. <sighs> We've already got that the breasts are being manipulated. You don't need to go ahead and restate it in the very next sentence. Especially not in the exact same syntax. <clears throat> What's the matter? What's the matter, Pink Ranger? Mocked Tortura. Don't you like this? Tortura had correctly gauged Kimberly's response to his psychological torture. She was humiliated and felt even more helpless and vulnerable than she had before. Hmm, head turned away from the awful monster. She closed her eyes and was trying to think about something, anything, but the creature that was fondling her naked body when the offending hands finally stopped caressing her body. She opened her eyes and saw the Tartura was standing before her, holding a... Uh, can you guess what he was holding, boys and girls? That's right, it was a whip. Well done, if you guessed. <clears throat> the whip was a form of Cat of Nine Tails. A form? What, it, like... Cat of Nine Tails do not transform into things, just putting that out there. And the very sight of it struck fear into the naked, bound girl. And that was the intent of it. Well done, Tortura. Zed had the power to conjure up whatever devices Tortura wanted. Ooh, neat. Yes, delicious. <clears throat> And this was a very special whip. Its construction was very carefully considered. It looked fearsome and would deliver intense pain. But the lashes were so wide they would not leave any permanent marks. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, uh, you're not meant to give advice like that in your porn story, um, you unpleasant writer person, that's not really a good idea. <clears throat> uh, there's gonna be some fucking kid who's gonna read that and be fucking like, I gotta try this shit right the fuck away. And that is not really a very good thing. <clears throat> Indeed, only some bruises would remain once the whipping was finished. Tortura held the whip in front of Kimberly's face so she could drink in the full terror of the device. Kimberly had never been whipped or beaten before in her entire young life. She had not even been spanked by her parents. Oh, that's so awful. And she was filled with terror as Tortura ran the whip over her face, her breasts, her nipples, and other items on his shopping list. <clears throat> then he stood before her and said, And now the fun begins, and walked behind her. Kimberly looked up into the ceiling, because that's where she was, I guess, and uh, tried to prepare herself for what was to come, while her smooth back and firm, shapely ass were displayed and ready for punishment. I love a woman with a smooth back. This has been episode 17 of um, Let's Torture Ourselves in Two Ways at the Same Time. Thanks for watching, boys and girls.